What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. Ew. That smells much better. Careful! Don't let all the flavor escape.
Ew. That smells good. Hey, Emmett. I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch just keeps shorting out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Hey Emmett, got a sec? Why yes, in fact, I've got several. You look busy, why don't we talk later? Sure thing. Hey Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my 7th grade science fair. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. They're stuck tight in this tar. Maybe when Real Doc comes back, we'll take a trip to see a dinosaur. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? 
Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Uh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Uh... At the Expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with... Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni, Muse of Progress. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. Excuse us a moment. It's like this. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume. She's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention.
Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girl's, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other, it's all Greek to me. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Last year, I drove a train off a cliff. Why'd you do that? You know, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. It's a <laughs> long story. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Wow. Okay. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing! I... I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't rat me out the Audi, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling? How the heck would I... Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? 
I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Here. Yeah. Take it back! Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. <laughs> 